Welcome back, everyone, to uh, Inklings Behind the Scenes. This is J.S. Bray, and we have another uh, driving episode. It's a bumpy road I'm on here today. So I want to take a little bit more time to talk about myself um, and a little more of the process, and I'm kind of just share with you about today. So today I am going to a, a conference. It's called Think Media. Uh, I was graciously given tickets to this um, this conference. That's more about media influencers. There's a lot of conversations, of cultural topics that are supposed to emerge. Um, I'm running late. I'm telling you right now, I'm running late to do this conference. Um, I did not allocate enough time to to get out the door. And uh, and and basically, uh, I've been to a lot of conferences. My goodness, but the first it's one of the first in, in a long while where I have been to. A, I'm going to a conference that is largely in my backyard. Um, and, uh, you know, I moved out to Nashville three years ago from Oregon, and I haven't really been to any conference in the Nashville area. I've been invited to a few, uh, but I have not had the opportunity to attend them. Um, I'm looking forward to this particular conference because uh, it was uh, its one of those things where I'm more looking forward to it because it was given to me. Okay. Uh, I, I am a firm believer that there is no such thing as luck, uh, there's no such thing as coincidence, and that everything happens uh, uh, for a really a cosmic or for a really important reason. Now, I know this sounds, um, well, it sounds, oh goodness, this, this traffic is scary. Uh, it sounds possibly more theistic than the average person is, but I am, I'm a believer in that, that God has a purpose and a plan. Now, sometimes I feel like I, I'm, I'm involved in that plan. Most of the time, I feel like I have no business even thinking about that large plan. But uh, so when I look at a gift, I am the kind of person that takes a gift and I wrap both arms around it. I am thankful. I, I am thoughtful. I am absolutely immersed in a gift. I've I've been that way. I don't know if I've been that way since I was a child, but I've been that way for as long as I possibly can remember. If someone is going to give something to me, I wrap my arms around them and I wrap them around the gift and I say, thank you. Thank you. And some of that is probably uh, has been something I can say I contribute to the success in my life. So, uh, for example, <clears throat> uh, you know, when I've dealt with disappointment, Disappointment is, is something that everyone experiences. Everyone is going to experience. You're not going to win the thing. You're not going to be picked first or you'll be picked last. It happens all the time. Um, uh, you know, you fall in love with somebody who doesn't love you back or they fall out of love with you or, or your favorite show gets canceled or that your favorite restaurant is closed. Um, there's always going to be opportunity for disappointment, okay? There is an endless amount of opportunity for disappointment. However, there's also an endless opportunity for, for surprise and the unexpected and for something good to come your way. You have to be looking for it. And I'll tell you, this is the key to success in all things in life if you want to have good opportunities come to you. Okay? The key, and I'll tell you, this is something that I did not realize, I did not realize until much later in my life. And many people will push on this idea. So I'm going to tell you the key to success to finding, to finding success, right? The, the absolute keys to this is that when something good comes your way, don't question it. Don't, don't, um, don't by any means sit here and, and debate, say, oh, it's too good to be true. No, 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 no. If something good, if something is given to you, if something is if it's kindness, generosity, love, affection, opportunities, okay, the key is grab it with both arms and put your arms around it and say, thank you. Be appreciative. Thank you. And just run towards it. The second thing, the, the, the actual, the hinge that this key turns on, okay, is to look for them, is look for them. Look for opportunities to be grateful. And when you look for opportunities to be grateful, you're never going to, to, to be disappointed, because if you say, well, I could be grateful today because my arm works or because my, my car works or because my family's healthy or because, uh, because you know, for a million different blessings. But taking that grateful attitude, right, that's the hinge, right? Be grateful for the things you have and then look for things to be grateful for 
sounds kind of preachy, but that's the truth. That's the key to happiness. It's a key to success. It's a key to fulfillment. It's the key to all these things. I nest that into my faith. I nest that into my faith in God. I nest that into, um, you know, how I've been loved by others. And I also use that as a way to filter out things that are not, that I've not been grateful for. I can be, you can, sometimes you can be very much ashamed by the way that you behaved. I'm going to give you a story and then I'll leave this, this, uh, this driving episode back to me driving a little more safely. My eyes are on the road. It's just, uh, I'm talking in, in my ear to you. So when I was a kid, I remember uh, I was probably about five or six, maybe a little younger. I cannot recall exactly because unfortunately the people that, that were there weren't, aren't there or they have passed on. Um, I got this really cool uh, Godzilla uh, toy. And I remember that like when I opened it up, I sneaked, you know, as a little kid does as a Christmas present. And I sneaked downstairs uh, grabbed the little, the gift, uh, and I opened it up. And as I opened it up, I, I saw that it was this amazing toy. And I was like, this is, this is the greatest thing ever. I, I mean, I couldn't contain my excitement, but then I knew, oh no, I'm going to get in trouble. So I put that gift back up there. I wrapped it back up. I wrapped it back up. And after I wrapped it back up, I went back to bed, so excited, can't wait to play with my Godzilla toy. And my Godzilla toy was cool. I think they had like lights and, and all sorts of cool stuff. They were like, like little wheels on the feet. And if you remember this, if you, if you were like back in the day when they used to have these Godzilla toys where they would, they would, they couldn't quite walk, but they could roll like a car. Um, so anyways, this particular Godzilla toy uh, was incredible. I was so happy to have it. And next morning, I get up with my family and it's time for me to open that gift. I already know what it is. I'm very excited. And as I open it up, this kind of sick feeling hits my stomach. And I go, I realize that because I ruined the surprise, I wasn't as grateful. Because I, I knew what to expect, I, I kind of lost the magic. And so, yes, that could be a message for losing surprise. But for me, I have taken that to realize that's by losing the sense of being grateful, you also lose the sense of being unexpected, having the unexpected happen to you. Just like I said, the disappointment is endless. There's always going to be opportunities for you to be disappointed. Okay? Something is going to go away that you don't plan it to go. That's going to happen. But when you don't, when you don't linger on that, when you look for ways to be grateful and to be grateful for the things that you have to wrap your arms around them, then you are endlessly surprised. You are endlessly surprised. Like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And that's what I think about today on my way to this conference with folks that have all sorts of walk of life and they, they, they have very similar, maybe very different interests than my own. Um, and this, these tickets were given to me. They, they were given and they were not cheap. I, you know, I looked it up. Uh, this is not a, a this is not a free event. This is free to me, but this was an expensive thing. I have this sort of thing happen to me all the time. I am not kidding you. I've had guitars given to me. I have cars given to me. I've had random deposits of money in my bank account. I have had miraculous things. I've had financial and material miracles happen to me. All the time, these things happen to me. And the key to them happening to me over and over again, I truly believe is that I wrap my arms around them, I say, thank you, God, and I just run towards them. So when you have an opportunity to be grateful, and you do, if there's air in your lungs, you have an opportunity to be grateful. If there's, an, there's something that's being given to you that you didn't pay for, my goodness, you have 10 times the reason to be grateful. I'm more grateful because it was given to me. That is how I feel about my maker. That is how I feel about those things in my life. And that is the key to have a life being a continual feast and to always be surprised. So I thank you so much again for listening and for being part of this community. I want you to know that I do treasure you. I value you. I value you, you even taking the time to listen. And I pray that I am an encouragement to you because that is, that is what I live for. I want to serve you so that you can be encouraged. That, is, that, that puts the wind in my sails to know that I can encourage you. So please feel free to reach out if you want to email, chat, uh, talk to me, whatever. Um, I do pray that you're having a wonderful day and that you continue to just... Uh, Find ways to be grateful today. Uh, you take care.